Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at the difference between pause by value and pause by reference in PHP. It's only been two weeks ago that we ran into a problem with this. Um, yeah, so let's wrap our head around the concept and let's dive in. All right, so I prepared this little test command here in Laravel, which is basically clearing out our um, output in Ray. I have a bunch of test data, which holds a name and a year of birth. Um, this is me and my two kids. Um, and I made a typo in one of my son's names. So it's Florian, so Bert, Florian and Tristan. Um, born 1990, 2017 and 2020. Um, and I'm just putting it out to Ray. Let's run this real quick. There we go. This is outputting an array, multi, the multidimensional array of the names and the year of births. So when we put this through a for each, and I, let, let me clear out this, I uh, just print out the name was born in the year of birth, put that back, save, and I'm adding one to the, um, yeah, to the year of birth. So let's run that again. So Bert was born in 1991, which isn't correct. And if I open up the array, year of birth is still 1990. This is because we're passing in the value of test, which is this, we're passing in name birth and year of birth 1990 as a value to our for each. And inside our for each, we're adding one, we're printing it out. And that's it. If we want to pass the reference of this array inside our test data array, we can just simply add an ampersand in here, like for each test data as ampersand test, which is basically going to tell PHP, hey, we need to pass the reference instead of the value. If we save that and we run this command again, run it again, I can see Bert was born in 1991, 2018, 2021. And if I open up the array again, year of birth is 1991. And this is because we're adjusting the year of birth inside this array, which is passed by a reference. So we're referencing to the main object here, the, the main, the root array, instead of a copy of it. Um, we can actually do the same thing with a string. So if, let's, uh, let's say we have a string. Um, this, uh, let's say this is a test like that. And um, well, actually, add a function here. So public, whoops, public function. Um, let's call it add sum. And we're taking in the string again. So string like that. Um, and let's actually adjust the string with um, cool, right? Like that. And this must be a point instead of a semicolon. All right. So we're actually adding cool right to this is a test. And if we um, add some like that with string, and we print that out, let's ray string like that. And let me just comment this out. There we go. And if we run this, we're getting this is a test because we're passing the value of this is a string to our add some function. And if we add an ampersand here, we're adding, hey, this is the reference of string. So basically this string and we're adding cool right to uh, the string here in the root of the object. If I run this again, we're outputting this is a test cool, right? Because it was passed by a reference instead of passed by value. Okay, so that's it. That's the difference between a pass by value where we pass the value of a um, parameter to a function or for each um, or the reference that we pass the reference to whatever we're doing here. So that's the difference. I hope you learned something from this video and I will see you in one of the next ones. Take care. Bye bye. And by the way, happy holidays and like and subscribe. Thank you.